What a lovely day in Deep Woken. I can't wait to, you know, play my favorite game, Deep Woken. Um, what should I do today? I mean, I've already mid-maxed my build. I've made the perfect Deep Woken build ever. So, you know, I think I'm just going to play some, some Chum of Conflict. Wipe out roll. You can't just tell me to wipe out roll. Lol? I'm not even in your valve master. Alright, so today I just wanted to go over the Chama Conflict experience because it's probably gonna be easy views, first of all. Um, yeah. So basically, <laughs> wait. Alright, so pretty much, first thing first, let's go over the trash talk that happens in Chama Conflict. Now, 99% of the time, the trash talk makes absolutely no sense because, you know, like people were just wafflers in Chama Conflict. Like, you will beat someone, perfectly normal match, you'll beat you thinking in your head, wow, that match was pretty chill. I mean, neither of us really did anything bad. And they'll be like, they'll just be like, wipe our rail, trash spammer, like, what? They'll go straight, they'll ping you in a deep book in Discord, they'll go straight to DMs. They'll give you actual death threats over a literal Roblox game, which is, which is, you know, that's reasonable. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's kind of it for trash talk. 99% um, of it doesn't make sense. Deep Walker players have about the same IQ as no build players in Fortnite. Now, if you've ever played no build, you know, bro, no build players are just complete dogs. Like, it doesn't even make any sense how it's humanly possible to be this bad at a video game. One more thing about trash talk is um, a lot of the time people will make comments on your build and stuff, which, again, don't make sense because Time player's IQ is at an all-time low. All they know is block, parry, dodge. They do not know anything else. Because most of the time, I mean, I got called build carried the other day on my literal decrepit 80-year-old build, which is very out of meta. And yeah, but he still said build carried. I don't really know how that's how I can be build carried by a build, which is literally using a walking stick. But it is what it is. That's going to be it for trash talk. Now onto the next section, the builds you see in charm. Now, a lot of the builds, you know, they're just chill. They'll just be so actually no, that's not a lot of builds. I'm tr I'm capping. At least like 40% of the builds, they gotta be just chill builds that people are just testing, right? In the lower elo of charm at least. I'm like well, I'm like 1.1k elo. I see a lot of just random builds I've never fought before, which is pretty cool because they're not meta monsters, right? But then you've got the rest of the builds in Chime, and especially at high elo. Alright, so there's a drill going on outside, just one sec. So once I was saying, most of the builds at high elo time are basically just meta builds. Or well, not really meta, but... Because the meta is weird in Deep Walker nowadays. It's kind of gone from, there was like a specific no attunement meta to like, I don't even know. But, and nowadays you can kind of just use any attunement, anything you want. And if you make the right build, it's meta, but basically. Because most all you really need to make sure you have on a build is just high damage. But when I say high damage, it's like disgusting levels of damage. No matter what attunement you play, no matter what weapon you go, you can make that sh** do so much damage, it's just not even fair. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, Deep Walker went from everything being somewhat balanced with, you know, no achievement being, like, very good to just, like, whatever it is now, you can just make anything good. It's, it's just, it's so weird, bro. Because you can be sat there and you can play Shadow. Well, you got Shadow Eclipse Kick, you got Arting, you got any Arting match, it doesn't matter, all broken. Flame Charm, Flame Charm, people say Flame Charm's bad, but like, I don't really know what game you're playing. Because every time I play playing as Flame Charm, I get railed repeatedly by literally many, many, like, many men. It's just, you see some disgusting builds in high level Chime, and it's just like, the game isn't fun no more at that point, bro. Like, how are you enjoying the game when you're sat there getting rapid fire gunned, like, just back to back to back? Like, bro's, like, bro's literally playing Fortnite, he's not even playing the Deep Open. He's actually just shooting you, he's, he, you literally bought a uh, Light Smile Total Gunfight. But anyway, on to the next point I was going to make, which is... Base, just the new play style of players, which I kind of already mentioned there. Like, Deep Oaken is a parry-based game, right? So, like, why am I playing Peroxide? Like, I'm not parrying anything. Because it, lo most of my fights recently, it's just been... People just run and jump around. Like, genuinely, they're trying to crank 90s in this game, bro. Like, I don't know what they're doing. They run and jump around me, just to circle around me, spam mantras, spam crits. And it's just, it's impossible to deal with, I'm not gonna lie. Because in a parry-based game, why am I not parrying? Why am I only dodging? Why am I only... Like, it doesn't make any sense, right? Around and just, like, that's it. That, that's the whole playstyle. And the reason I don't like it is because it's so hard to deal with and predict. Like, look at this. Like, I, I can't even get parries off. I can't even parry this. I just can't. I just... 
It's like every time I go for an M1, he's just ready to M1. Because there's no parry trades. We just run around in circles. We playing Peroxide up in this game now. Oh, look. Wait, what? That killed me? What is that? What is that range? Wipe IRL. And then other playstyles, obviously, you got guns, which is just a complete range, outrange your opponent in every way playstyle. Um, and then no attainment players, you know, they play pretty normal. They just try and parry trade and then get M1s and then into a little combo. But not barely anyone does that anymore. It's mainly just spam your mantras and just, or M1 macro. I forgot to mention M1 macros. Almost forgot that. Yep, that's another playstyle people chose to do. Um, hold down one and then just yeah, basically turn off your brain. I mean obviously press F occasionally But most of the time if you're on dagger just hold down one and they're not, they're not really gonna be able to do much about it That's gonna be it for play, play styles now. I want to get on to some you know honorable mentions My first honorable mention is gonna be the month of 100 for willpower builds with perseverance because it's the most like you barely ever see it anymore But sometimes bro, you be fighting a guy in chime and you knock him and you just leave it for one second too long. He's already back up and he's ready to go again. Like, dab sound effect. Although it was a close match, I still managed to prevail. After all this time, I've finally done it. <laughs> I finally won a try match. After hours and hours of play, non stop grinding, I finally managed to win on the verge of death. Finally, I won my. What the? What the 100 what the willpower fuck? plus but perseverance, buddy. He was really on his. What's it called, like, Misfit of the Demon Academy shit, bro? Like, he really got up and was like, did you really think killing me would make me die? Like, bro, he really just did that to you. And there's really nothing you can do about it because you can get up insanely fast with perseverance and willpower. My other honorable mention build will be the Trackstar slash zoning builds. I kind of forgot to mention this earlier, but basically it's the builds where I've seen a few of these which are really annoying and it's basically specific chime builds where they just want to kill you in the storm of chime. Like if you don't, well, I mean, I'm assuming you know what the storm is, but yeah, it's just a zone that closes in. It does a ton of damage when you get into it. And there's actually specific builds based around running around like a little bitch and then just killing you in the storm at the end of the game, which I think is, um, you know, I, I don't think that shouldn't be in the game. Me personally, I don't really think that's a show of sk Oh, who's really? I lost that. What the hell? The fact that you're just pushing them into the zone last second and winning, which has happened to me um, many times actually. There was one time, the bro had Stormbreaker, bro. and he just fucked me. This guy had Stormbreaker Jet Striker. He ran around, just ran from me the whole game, and then Stormbreaker me into the zone last second. Now, did I cry after that? Yes, I did. I think that's about it for the video. If I missed anything that, you know, really that you really hate about Trap of Conflict, feel free to you know, leave, drop that shit in the comments. But yeah, that's gonna be all. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and sub if you made it this far. I got the video to eight minutes, so you know I'm getting my bag and um see ya. Join up the Discord. I almost forgot. <laughs>